guys, it's me, Julie. I am back with a new video and dark nail polish. <laughs> Just haven't done this morning. Something weird happened here. It didn't stick, but that's okay. We're going with it. So you guys aren't even going to believe this. Do you remember I kept saying my probe is doing something weird? It's doing something weird. It's broken. The plastic is snapped and the probe doesn't even stick out anymore. Yeah. So I got a warranty. Thank goodness against anything so hopefully that will get here quickly and we'll have it to use <laughs> i told you i'm unintentionally rough on things i don't mean to be i want to just take two seconds to say a couple things um from the comments veronica thank you so much for the pronunciation of pa <laughs> that's the set and it's p-a-h <laughs> I feel silly saying it. I don't know why. But anyway, Parur is the set. Um, set, like necklace, bracelet, earrings. So thank you, Veronica. Randy, thank you so much. And I put it away. Shoot. Okay, anyway, there was a little kitty cat brooch. To, not last video, the one before. I said it was jade. It's not. It is glass. And I have been testing everything before showing it to you now. Um, and that's why I really need that jump tester. But anyway, we will figure that out. Linda's jewelry collection. Thank you so much for watching and for your comment. I was calling moon glow the right thing. That was moon glow. <laughs> and Cassandra, thank you so much for your comment. Um, where she said C clasps, where the pin extends further than the brooch are vintage slash antique. So thank you so much, you guys. You guys, if I ask a question and the, um, video that you might not know the answer to uh check the comments because somebody probably answered it and i learned so so much from you guys and i appreciate it so much so here we go i'm going to show some some jewelry anything that looks like it should be tested i'm just going to set to the side um at this point everything i'm showing you has been magnet tested um if i show you any plastic it's been tested for um bakelite uh and that's about it. Okay, so let's get moving. Here we go. First piece. And I'm going to try to just show the number in the background. I think that will help me to go a little bit more quickly. Oh, guys, check out this ring. Isn't it the weirdest, coolest thing you've ever seen? <laughs> oh, I like weird. I like it. I like it. Okay, so we're starting with this 12 karat gold filled little brochy that were so popular back in the day. This one is made by Eklund. And I went down the rabbit hole of um, marks on gold filled jewelry yesterday. Holy guacamole, there's a lot. This one stands for Eklund. I, it might be written out, I can't remember. <laughs> um, this guy is an inch and a quarter long and I can do him for $8, $8. And I think you saw the one. And I won't keep saying that. <laughs> and we're just going to go and have fun. Okay, you guys, this is so beautiful. Wait till you see. I have a few of these rose quartz necklaces. This one is my favorite. Oh, technically, I should test this. <sighs> guys, I am not going to test this. And I'm going to tell you why. Because I am 99.99999% sure this is rose quartz. It is cold. It is heavy. Um, these are solid. I really think it is rose quartz. Um, it is a beautiful pale pink color, and I love that they're all different shapes. I think this is just fantastic. Um, this guy it has, let's see, a 15 and a quarter inch drop. It is knotted in between each piece of quartz. Um, it is pale pink. It's looking a little bit whiter on screen, but it is definitely um, more pink than it's showing. Um, and I can do this one for $25, $25. And I will put the rest of the rose quartz away just in case, but I felt like I should show you that cause I pulled it out. Okay. Let's do, oh boy. I've got stones on top guys, stones on top. And we are a little discombobulated for stones. Okay, here we go. Found something, a little brochy boo. Oh, he's cute. He's a little goose. He's got a little like glass stone. Mm, not cold, so probably acrylic. 
really cute. Um, it kind of has that like, um, well, let me show you. So I think behind might be scraped a little bit, but I don't know how that would happen because it's solid. So just be aware of that, okay? He's a little guy. Uh, he's only an inch and a half tall and I can do him for $3 for you, $3. Okay, let's see. Um, sorry, the stone's on top and I want to test things. Okay, so we can do these. Because I wouldn't change this price based on glass or um, glass or uh, acrylic. Look at how gorgeous these are. They're so pretty. They are Coro. You can see the little script Coro right there. Uh, screwbacks. Perfect condition. Really, really pretty. Um, they are three quarters of an inch tall this way. And I can do these for $7. $7 for those. They're incredible. Perfection. So we're leaving tomorrow to go see um, Jeff's grandparents. I told you that, my husband's grandparents. Um, so I'm going to try and fil film two videos in a row so I can get two out to you. Look at how awesome this brooch is. It's like in perfect condition. Isn't it awesome? It's so, so pretty. And it is not marked. It's two and a half inches long. Um, and we can do this one for $25. $25. It's beautiful. Another perfect condition one. This jewelry, um, my mom didn't mark. This jewelry I went through yesterday and did myself. It was a new batch. And I pulled out anything that might have had an issue. And I should be able to get a credit with the lady I bought from because I'm supposed to buy some more. We haven't seen some of our other collections. Look at these. Aren't they cool? They are Coro. Screwbacks also. Perfect condition. So, so pretty. And I think these, if you guys ever watched my video forever ago, I have a vintage ring with these little orange balls and I <laughs> think they're the right size to fix my ring. But I'm going to offer them here first. They are an inch tall and they will be $8. $8. They are perfection. All right, I've got some scarab bracelets here. Now, I did want to use the tester for these, though. Um, what should we do? What should we do? We'll hold off. It's pretty, though, huh? Okay. All right, we have a toll wear uh, tray pin. And it's spelled like this, toll wear. Okay. Um, it's hand-painted, and somebody signed it, which is so cool. And it is an inch and three quarter wide, somewhere on the back. And I can do this one for $8. Oh, I thought 10 at first. <laughs> Bargain, you guys got a coupon. $8. Do you guys like Tollware? There's a little um, collection of it within this collection. There's like five or six of them. Okay, Coro. Again, really good condition. Maybe some light scratching. Could just use a little polish. Screw backs. They are signed. Look at these cute little bows. Let me hold them how they'd go on your ears. They would actually go on your ears this way. Oopsie. Come back, buddy. This way. Isn't that cool? Okay. They are an inch and a quarter tall right now. Wide. Tall. <laughs> and I can do this set for six dollars six dollars hopefully you guys are seeing the numbers it seems like the consensus is that the numbers are good so i am loving the numbers too um i left the um jewelry out from my last sale on the table next to me where i had it and basically it just was like this um so if people bought i could just um pick it up so before this video started i bagged it and put my little clothes pins on and it's in the top drawer of the cabinet I bought. And I think it's going to be fantastic. Okay. This is a BSK brooch. It's two, whoopsie, a little dog glitter. Two and a quarter inches wide. It's in good shape. Signed right here. B 
BSK. And I'll do this one for $6 for you guys. $6. And if it seems weird that like this BSK brooch is signed and it's $6 and this um, brooch is unsigned and it's $25, it also kind of is priced on by what I paid. Um, most of these things I'm only marking up a couple dollars. There were a couple winners in there that I was able to mark up a little bit more, but I was so interested in bringing you really quality, beautiful stuff that um, some of it I paid up for. Anyway, 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 we're going to get stuck by a pin. Um, so since working with this jewelry, I have gotten stuck by pins probably four times. There's a whole hat pin collection in there, which I am so tempted to keep. I have this, um, I have this truck. It's like a Tonka truck, an old vintage rusty Tonka truck that I put, I made into a pin cushion for like sewing. I put um, foam in the back of it and covered it with fabric. And so it could like roll around and be my pin cushion for when I was sewing, which I don't do often cause I don't really enjoy it. Um, anyway, so it hasn't had pins in it, but I thought a hat pin collection in the back of that would be so cool. You'd have like the mix of these beautiful hat pins and this rusty truck and that's just my jam. Okay, sorry, talking a lot. These are Coro, inch and a quarter tall. Um, they are marked, okay, that one's hard to see. I think it was there. Okay, hold on, I'm gonna look out of the light. Now I feel like I'm fibbing to you. I swear I saw it somewhere. Maybe I did not. Hold on, guys. Does that say Coro? Okay. I'm pretty sure it did say Coro right there. Let's look. And if not, we're not calling them Coro. But anyway, did it say Coro right there? Or maybe I just saw scratching and thought it was. Well, that wasn't very good, was it? Oh, you know what I think it is? The lady thinks that this this um, symbol right here, it almost looks like a C in a circle, is Coro. If anybody knows the answer to that, let me know because I found a couple pieces like that. So I'm not going to call these Coro, um, but they are in perfect condition. They are clippies. They're an inch and a quarter tall, and I can do them for $6. $6. Come on, number 10. He doesn't want to go with me. There we go. Okay, here we go. What is this? This looks fun. Let's do this brochy poo. We've got a little brochy. Um, it's like a resin, you guys. And it's got a lot of glue spillage, but you can't see it over here, so that's all right. It's a cool little bird. Two and a half inches wide. I'll do $4 on him. $4. I'm getting to the part of the table where I have to reach for a little bit. <laughs> okay. Can we do something besides pins? I'm digging. Okay, well, I have a hat pin. This is the only hat pin that I have priced so far. The rest I kept in my little secret pile for right now. Look at this. Micro mosaic. Very, very old micro mosaic. And there is one spot missing on it right here do you guys see it it is absolutely stunning and i was shocked by the prices of these things on ebay so um this guy um this part right here is an inch and then this total length is five inches and i'm going to ask 30 dollars. and it's stunning it's so cool it does have age wear but it seems like that does not matter for this um from what i'm seeing on ebay Okay. All right, next one. Um, let's see. All right, I'm gonna pull this out. It's one I would have wanted to test just to see, but this is Tiger's Eye, guys. It's heavy, it's cold, it's Tiger's Eye. Um, it has the Asian symbol right there. It has the safety clasp. And then it's a press, is that called a box clasp? I think so press clasp um and it is gorgeous look at it i've seen these in other um jade and things and i this one's fantastic okay let me get a size on it for you i got my mandrel 
Um, it's a seven. That's the only thing I didn't want to do downstairs when I was doing Esme. I didn't have my bracelet mandrel. Size seven. It's stunning. Um, and I want 13 for this one, please. 13. Isn't that funny? It happened again. 13 on the 13. <laughs> I just realized that I left my little doggy out with the big dogs. And well, in most households, and always in my household prior to the situation we're in now, that wouldn't have been a problem. But my little doggy really thinks he can take on my puppy. And it doesn't end well sometimes. <laughs> so hopefully everybody's okay down there. These are Coro. See that signature? <laughs> I can see it. It is hard to read, but I can see that one. And I bet that other one that we showed you was... Um, that I just showed you had it too. But anyway, um, Coro, gorgeous clippies. Look at those. Um, they're an inch and a quarter long, and I can do these for $7. And they're in excellent, excellent condition. $7. Okay, sorry, I'm doing the reach. I'm doing the stretch. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love these. And I have them in two colors. Maybe I should do them right back to back. These are coral clippies, um, and they're fantastic. <laughs> Look at, aren't they awesome? Don't they just make you wanna like have a picnic or something? It definitely screams warm weather, right? I totally think so. Um, it's enamel on there. Uh, I guess you have a teeny bit of enamel loss right there. It's really hard to tell. Um, and it says coral right there. Gorgeous. Um, did I tell you an inch and a quarter? Inch and a quarter, $10 on these. And I do have a second color, and if you'll bear with me, like you have a choice, right? <laughs> well, I guess you could change the channel. Change the... <laughs> if you'll bear with me, I'll dig out the other ones. If they're right here. If they're not, then I'm not going to dig. Okay, I lied. They're not right here, so I'm not going to do it. I don't want to make you wait. Okay, let's see what this is. I don't remember what this is. <laughs> oh, yes, look. Lisner with a tag. Looks like 80s, 90s tag to me, I would think. I remember writing like that. Um, make sure you can see this. My niece is coming to visit tonight because she's going to stay with the puppers. And um, I'm so excited to see her. And I'm trying to find the class. Here it is. <laughs> so it has... Um, a lobster claw class so it is newer and it has an extender here and it looks like this I think that maybe I should bust out the bust for this one because we are all twisted don't get it twisted <laughs> look at how pretty that is Ooh, I like it New tag, Lisner, and give me some measurements. What are the measurements? Um, so we've got 18 and a half inches total length. That's including the extender, guys. Um, and new with tag, kind of like new old stock, um, $22. $22. And back in the day, what were they asking for? Was it 45? I can't remember. Look at that, bargain. All right, 22 on that one. Okay. Oh my goodness, we just lost power. <laughs> oh, there it is again. It's back. I am so glad my big boy Zeus is outside because that freaks him out. Let me turn on my ring light again. Hey, we're back in business. <laughs> um, Zeus is very afraid when the power goes out because it makes my stove make this buzz sound that he is scared to death of. But I can hear him outside playing, so that was, that was a gift for us. Okay, some more Coro earrings. Um, clippies, they are marked. And you might have some, this white might have um, come off in places here, but I think it kind of, to me, looks okay. Um, obviously, that's up to you guys. Uh, I just want to feel this. This is a little loose there, huh? Huh. I don't think I want to sell you guys that. No, let's not sell it. I'm going to talk to the seller about that one. Uh, 
I don't want you guys to get anything that's not perfection. You guys, I have so many um, beautiful, um, I think, semi-precious gemstone bracelets coming. I'm so excited about it. Okay, so this is plastic of some sort, acrylic. It is awesome. Check it out. It's got this beautiful end. And that says... Duville, is that what it said? Okay, Duville, okay. Um, and look at these cool beads. It is just awesome. Isn't it cool? It's a double strand and um, so, so pretty. It has a total length, including the extender of 17 inches. And I would like 15 for this guy. And it is stunning. And I like how... Um, the beads are kind of different colors. I think they're meant to simulate jade. Um, and it's just a really, really pretty necklace. Okay. Let's see what else we can find in here. Yeah, my game plan's a little thrown off without my gem tester, but that's okay. We'll find there's plenty to look at, just maybe not as much variety now. <laughs> but we can pivot, right? That's what life's about, pivot. Pivot on the fly. Okay, check out this cool necklace, you guys. I love this one. So it has this awesome chain. has a cool little extender with a gold ball. This awesome chain. And it goes down to um, like a mother of pearl. Not sure if it's real or faux. Um, whoopsie. Come on, buddy. Um, mother of pearl links. It is so cool. And then goes to that cool chain with a hook. Um... Let's look at the back. It's in like perfect condition, you guys. And it mat it looks like 10 karat gold. Look at it. It looks like it's real gold. It's like the perfect gold color. It's really cool. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get some info. Total length of oh boy, I better not read upside down. 17 and a half inches total length, including the extender on this one, guys. And we're gonna do $17. $17. This one's perfect. I mostly am showing you perfect, but that one is very, very perfect. Um, okay, I'll show you this because I know these aren't diamonds. <laughs> um, probably glass, I, I would guess. Um, but look how pretty it is. Look how dainty. It's so beautiful. So a little um, tennis bracelet with gold tone. So, so pretty. All of those little rhinestones are there. It has that, um, I believe it's called a box clasp. A box clasp. So it will slide in. I'm not going to be able to do this through camera. Ah, I think I got it. No, I'm upside down. Okay, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it through the camera. <laughs> it does work. It has the two little safety pieces. It does say something over here. Let's look. I thought I pulled everything to test for 925. So I don't think it says that, but I can't remember what it said. Did I write it down? Let's see. Oh, I did. It says Roman. Roman. <laughs> okay, so it's Roman and uh, total length on it is seven and a quarter inches. And it is very pretty. And maybe I can get it now and show you. Let's see. Dun, 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 dun. Yes. So pretty. Okay. And I would like $12 for that one, please. $12. Okay. Next one. Oh, I found the other color coral earrings, the other flowers. I was going to say pink, but I wasn't totally positive, but they are pink. Oh boy. I hear the big dogs coming in. Okay, they are Koro, and they are fantastic. I love them so much. Isn't that cool? They are marked. Beautiful. Um, how big were they again? Inch and a quarter. These are really lightweight, guys, so if, if you don't like heavy earrings, these aren't heavy. And I would like $10 on the pink ones, too, please. Aren't they cool? Are they the same color? Hold on a second, guys. Yes. This one might be a little tiny bit darker, but they are the same color. 
just wanted to make sure. Make sure you are getting the right thing. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is neat, guys. This is, um, has the illusion that it's very old. I guess I don't totally know, but look at this. It's um, brass, I believe. It has some patina on it. Um, I think this is just acrylic. It's got some lines in it, like like amber would, but I don't think it's amber. Um, like some inclusions and things. Let's look closer. Want look closer, guys? Do you think it's amber? I don't. I'm saying no. If you get it and it's amber, then happy birthday to you. <laughs> it is like a C style clasp. Friend, hi. <laughs> it's two and three quarter inches long. And if we could do 10 on that, that would be wonderful. It is really, really pretty. Okay. Let's see. Trying to, okay, I can do this one because I think I know what this is. <laughs> this is a scarab-ish bracelet. It's modeled after a scarab bracelet. And it's that really cool glitter lucite, which I think is fantastic. It's like um, faux opals, like there's a faux blue opal, a faux yellow opal, and so on. Isn't that cool? And I believe these were done in lucite. Um, nowadays it would be resin, but I believe this probably is lucite. Um, there's a little N for the clasp. And let's see here if there's any wear. I think this one was in pretty good condition if I remember correctly. Spring ring clasp. A really cool bracelet. This guy um, says long craft on it. It is marked long craft. Has a total weight of seven and up. Uh, total weight. <laughs> Total length of seven and a half inches. And this one we are going to do for $17. $17. Isn't that fantastic? Oof. I like that one. I have been looking for a scarab bracelet that actually fits me for so long. And I thought this lady had one and I bought it totally for myself. Uh, and it's pretty tight. Like I want my bracelets that are like that to move, you know? That's what I want. Okay, I'm not gonna look at that because I wanna test it. Oh, I found the little toll wear, oh, another little toll wear here. Let's look at this one. So another little toll wear tray pin. Okay, I hadn't seen this before, let me see. Couple little dings there, guys, couple dings. It's really pretty. They remind me of the little bluette flowers that cover your lawn in the summer if you don't have a perfect lawn. <laughs> Um, little wear on the back and it's two inches wide and I marked this one down to eight dollars also eight dollars anybody have a toll wear collection I would love to know that anybody really into the scarabs I think the scarabs are absolutely phenomenal okay I'm finding a couple things that I can definitely show you without my gem tester here we'll do another toll wear then we'll move on to something else. I grabbed a couple things. Another little tollware tray, hand painted. Definitely not perfect, perfect, perfect. There is some wear. Wear on the back. Two inches wide, $8. Well, if you don't have a tollware collection, you could start one now. That is for sure. Okay, this went with this number, guys. I didn't grab it. You could start one today. <laughs> Uh, okay, guys, this is so pretty. I believe these are Millefiore beads. I believe these are called, these are in that category. Look at them. This necklace is like, oh, I love the color. Okay, tiny bit of wear right there. I didn't notice that before. I want to point it out. You know what, guys? Hold on. Oh my goodness. I didn't see that. This is all wear. Like vertigree. Oh, I wanted to sell you guys this because it's so pretty, but I'm not going to sell it like that. See, that's what it's supposed to look like, and that's what the wear is. Bummer. That's such a bummer. Okay. All right, I'm putting it to the side. So sad. Bye, buddy. Okay, got a thermoset. 
My light is pretty good downstairs, but it is not perfect. I don't catch everything. Okay, I've got a little ball on the end. And it's that color, it's that tone that looks almost gold and silver at the same time. Let's look at the back. Dun -dun. I don't believe this one had a signature. And this is like a moon glow pink. A little bit of dirt right there. Uh, let's see. Oh, it did. I'm sorry. I'm lying to you. It's a Lisner. I just didn't write it down. I probably didn't see that. Can you guys see that? Lisner. Come on, Lisner. It's Lisner. I swear it. <laughs> uh, 17 inch total length with the extender. $17. That might be a little low for Lisner, but we can still do that for you guys. Ah. Uh, I didn't catch the signature. <laughs> okay, got a little more tiger's eye. I feel com confident saying this is tiger's eye. It's tiger's eye chips and then a tiger's eye like flower shape. It is stretchy. Do you guys want to know where it sits right now? Maybe people are interested in that. It sits at like a seven and a half like it is, okay? And it has good stretch. Boop, boop. <laughs> It is really pretty. Oh, sorry, this side of the flower. I was gonna say, I thought that was a rose. It is way more carved and beautiful. It is cold. It is tiger's eye, I'm confident in that. And we can do this one for $12. $12. I love tiger's eye. Definitely do. Okay, I'm gonna do one more tiger's eye. I'm waiting for you to answer. <laughs> Okay, so uh, here's another tiger's eye. It's one of the donut shapes, and I am confident that this one is also tiger's eye. Um, it has one of the little fetish bears on there. Um, you know what? I never did a little... They are magnetic. <laughs> um, and it comes up to what could be amethyst right here. It looks like it, but yeah, it looks like it, but I can't test it right now. Um, and then it has a purple satin cord, which has some wear. Might not be the cord that's on it forever. <laughs> okay, very, very cute. Um, this one has a 15 inch drop on the satin cord. And then this to this is three inches. And I can do this guy for, I don't know. Oh, $15, $15 on that one, guys. Hey, we're doing better guys on timing um yesterday we got through 29 items and it was like 40 minutes and today we're at 28 at 33 minutes so thank you for everybody that gave me encouragement saying you'll get better at this <laughs> there is some wear on this but this necklace is to die for it is a white scarab can you see the scarab carvings and from what I'm seeing, they aren't very, um, uh, they're more rare and white. Let's say that. They aren't readily found everywhere like the other scarabs. Um, I believe this is just acrylic. There's no coldness to it. Um, you can see the carvings on the back too, maybe. Maybe. It's really cool. I hope you guys can see that. Um, it's an amazing necklace. And let's see, where's my info? Here's my tag. Um, it is a scarab necklace. It is not signed. And it is 15 and a half inch total length. That's including this extender. Um, and I would do 25 on this, $25. On the white scarab. Wouldn't it have been fantastic if I could have just bought this lot as like, one price for the whole lot. Oh my gosh. There would have been steals for of deals. Steals steals of deals. What am I trying to say? Yeah, anyway. <laughs> okay. So this is okay. So here is my question on this guys. Okay. So the woman had put this together. And I can see why they look nice together, but I don't think they go together. 
okay? I don't think they actually go together. The reason I'm saying that is the earrings are Lisner, and I guess they could go together, but I, I don't know. I'm not positive, and this necklace is not marked Lisner. So I'm going to tell you they're Lisner earrings for sure. They are marked. They're in great condition. They're an inch wide, um, and I'm going to keep it with this necklace, which is amazing, but it is not marked. Look at that awesome piece of molded yumminess. These are acrylic, and they are stunning with the AB stones, and then these cool, I don't know what these are called, like frosted crackle, something like that. And here's the other end of that clasp, and it is really beautiful, and it's a hook, okay? It's gorgeous. Double strand. Um, the total length on this from end to end is 17, oh, I lied, <laughs> 23 inches. Sorry, guys. And I will do this set for $20. So you get the brace, um, excuse me, the necklace and the earrings. The earrings are definitely Lisner. The necklace, I guess, could be, but I'm not going to sell it that way. Did you see that? Went with that. <laughs> okay. So let me put that down. Coming back to you guys. Uh, let's see. Okay. We have this Jaguar pen. I think he's a jaguar. I had a hard time at first thinking these were his eyes, but those aren't. Those are spots. His eyes are here and here. <laughs> uh, he's two inches wide, and I can do him for five dollars. Five dollars. Five dollars. <laughs> On the funny-eyed jaguar. I think he's a jaguar. A leopard? Maybe a leopard. I don't know why jaguar popped into my head, but it sure did. Oh baby look at these look at this wait till you guys see this this woman was in love with her large rhinestone brooches and you guys have not seen any of the crazy fantastic one yet but this one's pretty cool check it out isn't that cool okay so this one's gonna be 25 dollars. like you saw it's two and a half inches wide it's a good size one okay you can tell in my hand um and 25 like i said she's amazing amazing oh guys so it's not a repair because it is factory right there or it looks to be factory to me yeah it does it looks to be factory but i just want you to see this top piece is off to the side a little bit do you guys see that these ones are straight on this one's off to the side a little bit um, but it doesn't look like it was repaired. It looks like factory error. Okay. Just want to make you aware of that. Okay. Let's see. Where are we at? Ooh, what's this? Let's pull this out. This looks fun. Okay. So I remember this brace, uh, necklace. This one cabochon has some damage okay i want you to know about that but the rest of it is pretty great starts with the little extender with the ball these are um some kind of plastic acrylic um they have a little bit of wear on them but that one which is how far in one two three four in it's almost like it had to get glued back in and somebody got glue on the top which really stinks but it happens you can see And goes all the way down to a hook. One black stone wear. I told you guys that. No problem. Let's get a 16 inch total length. That includes the extender. $15. $15. Okay. Let's see. So we're at 39 minutes and we've already hit 33. We're definitely doing better. That's awesome. And we can only go up from here, right? Okay, I was in love with these earrings. Tell me what you guys think. Mm, they're so cool. Look at them. Aren't those awesome? I believe they're Coro. Let me just double check. Yes, they are Coro. Screwbacks. Gorgeousness. Excellent condition, you guys. 
excellent, excellent. How long are they? They're an inch and three quarter. So pretty. I can see these at Christmas for sure. And these ones are gonna do $10 on, okay guys? $10. I hit the camera. I apologize. You're probably going, yeah, you've hit it like 10 times already. <laughs> Which I wouldn't doubt. I'm going to pull out another tiger's eye, guys. Her jewelry was kind of divided into little mini collections. Um, so when we get to an area of something, there's probably going to be more of it. Um, this is stunning. Tiger's eye beaded necklace. It is knotted between each piece. It's uh, an infinity necklace, meaning it does not have a clasp. It's so pretty. It's cold. It's heavy. It's definitely tiger's eye. Um, I felt like I wanted to tell you something else. Okay, I can't think of it. Um, let's see how long it is. So it has a 16 and 3 quarter inch drop. So we're talking, whoa, we're talking about like a 33 inch necklace here or so, okay? Um, and I can do this one for 25, $25. Sorry, Bryn wanted to say hi to daddy. <laughs> That's what that was. I hope it didn't blow your ears out. Uh, she's very protective um, of mommy when she's in the house by herself when my husband just walked in. So that's what that was. <laughs> Um, we've got a little brooch here. Kind of reminds me of a shell, doesn't it? So cute. Like an antique silver tone. It is an inch and a half wide. Five dollars. I like that one. Five dollars. Okay, got another little brooch. An animal brooch, my favorite kind. We've got some lovey giraffes. Aww, they're so cute. Gold tone. Two inches tall, five dollars. So so cute. Oh. Okay, let's see. Well, actually, I think I'm gonna stop right now, guys. And when I pick up for the next video, I'll start right at this number again and we'll continue. Um, so guess what I did? I forgot to think of a question. Oh my goodness gracious. Oh boy. So I'm stalling trying to think of something. All right, here's what I'm gonna do. No question this week except, I'm sorry, this video, except what was your favorite piece that I showed? Tell me, tell me. I'm so excited. Um, and thank you guys for watching. And remember, you can be anything you want in this world. So please choose to be kind. If you want to buy anything, check the description. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.